banana peppers. It's time to hang out and look at more squishies. This is like a squishy unboxing at sunset. Let's see how many of these we can look at before the sun sets and I no longer have natural light to work with. Uh, but look at this massive box, you guys. This is the one that I was talking about um, from my last squishy haul. I have like pulled those squishies out to talk about particularly, but they all came from this massive, amazing surprise box that I got from Delightful Boutique. You guys know that they have some of my favorite squishies. They always have the new ones, the best ones, the cutest ones. Let's dig right in. Look at this. I'm, I'm trying to go like this and like I'm only picking up one at a time. Fail. Um, okay, one that I have seen on top that I have been waiting to open forever is this enormous, adorable unicorn squishy cake. It's actually wrapped up like a real like cupcake kind of thing. I think that this is from the brand. Oh no, this is Puny Maru. I thought that this was from Silly Squishies. Uh, Delightful Boutique pretty much does carry like every like big name brand squishy you can think of. Look at the cute little tag that just fell off. I forgot to show you guys that. Oh my gosh. This smells amazing. This almost smells kind of like a bubblegum cake, which I think is a thing. Aren't there some like ice cream cakes you can get that have bubblegum on the inside? Or am I just making that up? If so... I invented it. Somebody out there try my magic recipe that it's it's not a recipe. I'll stop there. Um, so here it is and it comes on this super cute little paper plate. I love when squishies, especially like food related ones, are packaged with like napkins or plates or um, like the bear pancake ones came with plates like that as well but they were so cute so this one is a little bit quicker rising in my opinion um you can see it like bounces back pretty quick but this has got to be one of the all-time best smelling squishies ever and i love the detail of like the little pearls have i literally spent two minutes talking about one squishy send help all right um, next one, which obviously I did take this out of the packaging, which the envelope is somewhere in here. Envelope? Is that what these are called? Um, I don't remember what this hedgehog's name is, but he is so cute. And this is definitely like a super jumbo squishy. I love to always like use my face for some reason as a range of measurement. It's face sized, um, but only my face. So he's kind of quicker rising too, huh? I would love the way this one smells. It kind of has that like bread hazelnut kind of scent to it, but his little face is just so adorable. Okay, I have two of these, which I think, so this is Mother Garden, and for some reason I thought this was Mother Garden. Yeah, so two really cool realistic food squishy sets in cartons. Wow, my brain just took a minute to like, what am I looking at right now? So this is called Bon Bon Chocolate and how cute is that? It's like an actual little like box of chocolates that you would get for Valentine's Day or your anniversary or whatever. And then you can slide out this tray and all of the little Bon Bon Chocolates will come out. And how cute are these? Ooh, this looks like it would be my favorite type of chocolate, which is chocolate covered cherries. I love it. So that looks like a little heart adorned chocolate covered cherry. I love these ones that are hand size. I know that I say that all the time, but I love to always have like a squishy or two in my purse. Maybe that sounds crazy, but like if I just, I don't know, like go somewhere and I start to feel anxious or something, I love to have these smaller ones or keychain ones that I can just carry with me at all times. That one really feels very soft. Um, and then the other one, is this a nougat? I never know how to say that type of chocolate, um, but whoop, I'm dropping it. Um, it does look like it has maybe, I don't know, maybe like peanut pieces on top. I think that that is, that that is supposed to be a nougaty chocolate. You guys, I'm just dropping these everywhere. And then the last one looks like it has like a raspberry drizzle on it. 
So some of these are more like stress ball like. They are all squishy, but some of them have like a firmer squish if that makes sense but this one I think is my favorite because it's very very soft I would definitely carry this one around and then the other one is the mother garden fruits pancake and look at how cute this little box is because this actually like rises up to make a little handle rises up I'm not sure if that's a good way to say it like folds up so that it's like a little like realistic um like cake container is anything i'm saying making any sense today i've kind of had a headache for like two days straight so my brain is like you need caffeine and you need to slow down but look at how delicious this looks some of these squishies like the food looks so cute and also so delicious i'm just like can i please have a bite of this delicious fruit pancake so there we go. This one is definitely on the slower rising side. And look at that. It looks so nice. It looks so nice. Ooh. This one also has a combination between like a fruity, bready smell. I think they were really going for like a fruity pancake. What should we open next? I don't know if I've ever talked about this one before. This one's been out for a while. Uh, but this is a new one for me. It's like a it's like a duplicate, but it's one of my favorite squishies of all time, uh, which is the Meaty Bone by Cutie Creative. I love Cutie Creative squishies because they are really good at having, I call them multi-layer squishies. That is not a real term, but they have like a couple of different textures. So the bone is actually, it's like a little bit soft. Um, not really squishy though. It's definitely more like a squishy handle and then the actual meat on the bone is really soft and squishy but you always have that like core of the bone inside. I love that and look at how slow rising it is. Also, it doesn't smell like chicken, so there's a bonus. Would this be chicken? I don't know. It it makes me think of like a caveman bone, which you guys know I always have Disney on the brain. So if you ride Spaceship Earth in Epcot, it makes me think of like the caveman scene, right? Um, uh, this one is from Cutie Creative as well. And this is another good example of what I was just talking about. This was also from last year, I think, but I never got this particular egg and this particular color of chicken. Like they had it come out in several different designs and colorways. I had another one, but here is another good example of like what I'm talking about because you get this soft little plushy chicken on the outside, which is just super cute. And then like the little egg, can live on the inside and all the different eggs had different faces and I love this one. He's like a little cracked and like drooling. Um, and these are so soft and squishy. I actually did carry my other egg around in my purse a lot. I always felt bad for like separating it from its mother chicken, but this one is so soft. Um, it kind of has I don't know why I want to say coconut smell. I don't think that's right, but it just smells like a good smelling squishy, if that makes any sense. Okay, you guys, on to ones that I love and that I am so conflicted about opening. I know we're definitely going to find some more just like this in here, um, but they are the, oh my gosh, that's my favorite one, Freby. I actually got two, so I opened one already. So I'll leave this one in the packaging, but I will show you guys this one. I don't remember this one's name. This is by Punimaru and um, it is so cute, but it's got like nutritional facts on the back. So it's actually supposed to be like a wrapped ice cream bar. And I will say I do kind of get sad these days when squishy packaging is not resealable. Um, just because I have gotten so into sealing them back up in the package, I feel like it makes them stay um, scented with each particular scent because like obviously like this one doesn't smell like this one. So it helps to like not make all your squishies just end up smelling like one scent. And I feel like it does keep them fresher. Did I just repeat the same thing twice? Uh, so I have gotten into the habit of always resealing them and you can't do that obviously if the package is not resealable. That was a long stream of consciousness common sense statement I just said. 
You guys, this one smells just like vanilla cake frosting. It is delicious. And these do come with a little keychain, even though I'm not sure. Oh, wow. There is like a little um, space for you to attach a keychain to the top of its head. I barely, I almost didn't see that little thing, but how cute are these? And the popsicle stick at the bottom actually feels like a real popsicle stick. And these are so soft and any of them I've ever opened always smell so good. Um, okay. Another series that recently came out that I have, I think one of each um is the what are these called super squishy does that say daniel i'm trying to see what brand it is it might be daniel i've never heard of that squishy brand before but it's really cute it's like a whole series of retro looking toys and they have um is this the cat yeah a cat a bunny um here's a little teddy bear Ooh, we are so gonna open that one that one is adorable and I know that there were a couple of other ones in here. They're kind of mixed up. Oh, yes. Okay, here's a really cute one that is a panda bear. And I think they all say hug me. I'm trying to dig through. Oh, my gosh. Look, here is another one of the animal popsicles. This one is like a dragon. We might open that one. I feel like the sun is already setting. Um... Okay, here's another hug me. That's the other animal there is, is little hedgehogs. And most of these they have in a different color way. So you can get like a blue bear, a pink bear, a purple bear. Um, there's another animal popsicle in Cheeky the Monkey. And I think, I thought that this was just a creamy candy character. Um, you know what, maybe that's Yummy Bear. If you guys know squishies, then everything I'm saying right now probably makes a little bit of sense. And if this is like your first squishy haul video ever, then you're like, what are you even talking about right now? So I wanted to take the little blue bear out because he is adorable. So you of course get the little ball chain with these. The purple one came with a hot pink one, but look at him. He's so cute. Okay, uh, Domiel is the squishy brand it looks like. I don't think I have any other squishies from this brand, but these are super cute. But oh my gosh, you guys, this is like kind of weird. It's like you can squeeze air. Do you guys see this happening? Like when I squeeze the body, the head kind of poofs back up. And when you squeeze the head, it really like makes the body poof back up. So that's kind of crazy. I feel like I would honestly be scared to like squeeze both parts at once because it feels like maybe it would like hurt it, if that makes any sense. I was always the kid that was like super scared to like break any toys or make anything like funky. Um, and so I, I don't dare like squish it in both places because it does feel like it maybe would make it like break open. Oh, there is like a... Now I can, I don't know why I thought you could hear this, but if you squeeze it just right, you can get all the air to like whoosh out of the ear. But this is like an extremely, extremely slow rising squishy. So if you love that, which a lot of times I do, cause like if I'm feeling anxious or something, like sometimes if I just squeeze it and then watch it like slowly puff back up with air, it's kind of like counting to 10 for me, if that possibly makes any sense. I'm a very visual person. So sometimes if I can like look at something that calms me, it helps me out a lot. Also like a lot with scents, it's so weird. Like I'm like a very tactile person. I feel like I have to like smell something or look at something or like touch something. Ooh, you guys, I switched over to ice brew coffee at Starbucks instead of just like the regular iced coffee and it tastes so good. It's got like a creamier taste to it than traditional iced coffee, which sometimes can be a little bit more on the bitter side, but oh my gosh, it's definitely not helping me like cut back on coffee, which I still really need to do. I feel like sometimes I do drink it too much, like too many cups in one day, which is also definitely not good for anxiety. Um, but there you have it. We don't, we don't sometimes like think with our full brain at Starbucks. Um, so the next series that's come out that there's a lot of different colorways that are so, so cute is the um, Cafe de Inn like pastry squishies. 
And once again, there are a lot of different designs. I think that this one is supposed to be like a cream puff, but it's like really dreamy looking. Actually, I think it's called dreamy. Yeah, dreamy pastel is what this collection is called. Um, and so they're all so pretty. It's like yellow biscuit with like a blue cream filling. And of course they all come with the little ball chain things. Uh, so you can turn them into keychains if you want. And then are these called crewlers? Or am I just making up everything wrong today? But I thought this kind of like swirly donut thing, I thought that's what it was called, was a crewler. Ooh, that one is like very soft. Bounces back pretty quick too. I like that one. Um, so there's that exact same one in this like blue pattern love it Ooh, i love these two colorways together so pretty i don't even know if it's reading through but this side is like a purple pastel and this is a blue i feel like the lighting in here is maybe a little weird today and then we have this which i'm gonna say disney again um but i anytime i see anything churro i always think of getting uh churros in disneyland or disney world and this one is so cute because it's a heart-shaped churro so this is a blue and pink colorway with like a yellow drizzle and i think i have a couple of other colorways in here as well but that one is adorable somebody else did a churro squishy as well i feel recently i feel like i shouldn't um take up time to open this one because it's the peaches exactly the same as we opened in my last squishy haul Ooh, look at this tokyo bakery jumbo cupcake and is the brand tokyo bakery a Luz, A-L-U-Z. This might be a new squishy brand for me as well. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. Almost like a chocolate strawberry. And the bottom, literally like this paper part, is so soft. Like it feels like it's like getting indented in my hand just from holding it. And I love the topping with this whipped cream and a heart chocolate drizzle this one is just very cute Ooh, you can scrunch that one down really good and that one is definitely slow rising look at that it's still like really squished on this side oh my gosh you guys i love this one also i'm sorry if my camera is like being weird today i feel like it's just desperately trying to focus on my face only so it doesn't want to focus on any of the objects that i hold so look at this little snot nose jumbo bear he is adorable and he's called the bibby boo boo bear by pat pat zoo and i have the package right here so this is what he comes in is a nice big resealable oh my gosh there's like a little cartoon on the back that's so cute. I think there's two of them in here, but this is the one I really like because it's like, it's kind of gross, but like for some reason makes me laugh. Oh my gosh, he has a little butt too. This is so cute. Look at that. <laughs> What's going on there? Ah, I can't unsee. Um, but here's his little cute snot face. Ooh, this one smells like, oh my gosh, citrus. What am I trying to say? Not orange. Like one of the different citrus fruits that's not that different i want to say grapefruit but look at him oh my gosh look at him go super slow rising super duper soft love the smell of this one. Oh my gosh maybe it smells like a plum actually it's like not a normal smelling fruit but it smells okay maybe not a normal is not what i'm trying to say because it definitely smells exactly like a fruit i'm just struggling which fruit i want to say it is like grapefruit peach plum almost smells like a plum but that's like a really odd fruit to choose i feel like <laughs> like nobody ever picks plum i'm gonna make a squishy and make it plum scented um all right oh look i didn't even know we had this in here it's another mother garden bonbon chocolate set look at that and it looks like all the exact same 
chocolate designs except for these are not like chocolate looking so now that one totally that I said like could be nougat really looks like pistachio which oh my gosh I love pistachio flavor now this really looks like a raspberry with chocolate drizzle and then that one is so cute it's like a white chocolate with a red heart seal maybe strawberry drizzle and then this one is really super cute the one that I thought looked like a chocolate covered cherry is now like this really colorful chocolate kind of thing or maybe it's like meant to be like meringue now I'm just getting so imaginative who else do we have in here oh yeah I thought that these were like really wild and I have two of them and these are eye bloom and they are chocolate bananas but once again I love squishies like this because they are on a stick and the stick is actually a stick so that's so cool to me you guys sometimes it's the little things that I just love so much so there you have it and then this is like so soft and squishy oh my gosh this one can I say that this kind of smells like a delightful like minty pine saw kind of smell I love this I feel like we pulled out so many squishies today that have a scent unlike any other um squishy that I have in my collection which is saying a lot you guys I feel like one day I should show y'all like my entire squishy collection um it's like a whole section in our closet now and dog man's like don't you think you can get rid of some of these and I'm like no like oh my gosh I just like sometimes I just like to pull out my collection and like just look at all the squishies and then like carefully put them all back in their package like I feel like I post on Instagram or snap stories so much how I'm like just digging through my squishies um so here's to I feel like it's gonna frustrate you guys that I'm even showing y'all. If you guys remember, these are what originally got me into squishies were the super realistic, cutie, creative hamburger squishies. And I don't even wanna unwrap these. I kinda wanna keep these in pristine condition. I think we're actually gonna start decorating, like really decorating our game room soon. And so I kind of want to make a shelf where I just like display some of these things. Um, but I want to leave them in a wrapper because once you unwrap these, you can never wrap them up the same way again. Um, and th those cutie creative squishies are like what got me into collecting squishies. And so I kind of just want to like leave those. I should dig out. I've got my cutie. You know what? I've got to stop this footage. Let me see if I can find them just so I can show you guys what an unwrapped one looks like. Because now I just feel like I'm being a terrible person. Okay. I found it. So this is the squishy that started it all. Which I think I started doing my first couple of squishy hauls in like the end of 2016 so I've kind of been a squishy fanatic for quite a while now so I'm not sure if I've ever unwrapped one of these small ones but it looks the same it's just smaller but this is what this looks like all um wrapped up and I remember I always loved these because there's actually like the texture of sesame seeds on the top of the bun which once again cutie creative you guys I feel like they are really into like the real like just adding a little something like realistic do you know what I mean we have pom-pom hamster up next and look at how cute he is I don't know why this animation makes me think of popcorn but it does it says do not eat so this is squishy Japan and I bloom collab and oh my gosh he is a little softy and look at how cute he is really slow rising for such a tiny guy I think that this one is gonna be my new little purse friend because he's so cute he's the perfect size and he has so squishy um up next I have a couple of different colorways I think of this guy yes okay um and this is the unicorn and it's a special collaboration with who is this um this is eye bloom and mushy squishies i'm not sure who that is but we have a couple of different colorways we have this one which is like a blushy peach 
pink shade. We have this one, which is more of a strawberry pink. And we have this one, which is like baby blue, kind of a minty baby blue. Let's find another one to open. I thought I had a couple more. I don't know why I thought one was like rainbow. Ooh, look at that one. That's like orangey. I think I still want to open. I don't know which one I want to open now. I could open more than one. I just see the sun setting and it's making me crunch. Ooh. Okay. I want to open this one. It's green. <coughs> um, so they all have that sticker on it. Somebody help me out. Maybe it's a K-pop band that I'm unfamiliar with, which... I was gonna say that's kind of rare. I do love K-pop. I listen to a ton of bands, but I definitely still have a way, ways to go. Um, look at this little guy. So cute. I think it's supposed to be wearing a bow, but look at that. Oh my gosh. It's like one of them where the head is so big. It kind of looks like, hello, hello. Ooh, that one smells good. It almost has like a candy kind of smell to it. I'm sure with every different colorway is a different scent. That's usually how it goes is like, you know, purple will be grape and like blue will be raspberry. Look at that. Super slow rising. If you guys like really soft ones, you would love this one. I do feel like it is super soft. Let me go ahead and open the orange one because now I really want to know if it's scented like oranges. How unique. Um, sometimes I wish it listed the scent. Oh my gosh, okay. This one is supposed to be coral and the other color is technically, ooh, emerald. I don't like that. Wait, I think they smell the same actually. No, a little bit different. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but this emerald one, it smells like scented, scented markers, scented markers. Um, and this one just kind of has a pretty standard squishy smell to it. Like almost, I call it like a bready smell, but I don't know, maybe it's technically like a hazelnut, but this one is so cute. It's like purple, not purple, um, pink and like a corally orange color. Look at how slow rising though. These ones are great. I'm loving it. Okay, who do we have next? Um, oh look, it's a new, um, candy bear. I think that this is the one that's like, um, a creamy candy mascot, right? Um, oh my gosh, the packaging, was the packaging or just the squishy designed by, uh, the Hollycopter, who you guys should totally check her out. She is like the foremost, um, squishy unboxer on YouTube in my mind. I love watching her videos. Um, but look at this adorable yummy bear. Oh my gosh. So cute. And it smells really good as well. Has like a berry scent to it. Let's see if I can fix the lighting on the camera here. I feel like it's getting like a little weird colored in here. Weird colored with the lighting. Um, but look at that super slow rising. Probably one of my favorite yummy bear designs I've ever seen. I love this like pinky purple color with the chocolate. So cute. Oh look, I found another, um, no it's not. Okay, you guys have got to tell me more about this character. Cause I feel like it's popular and I feel like I see it all the time and I don't 100% understand what I'm looking at because it's supposed to be a tank. But like, look at this one, this one has hair. It's like a tank with hair and um, eyelashes. I don't know what's going on, but it's super cute. Um, and so there it is. Is this from like a show or is it just like another brand, um, mascot or something? It's pretty soft. Oh, this one kind of has like a bubblegum texture to it. Is that like a weird way to describe a squishy? It's like a different type of squish. Ooh. And once again, we have that kind of like tangy grapefruit kind of smell. So this is an eye bloom. Um... You know what, I keep saying grapefruit and I feel like I've described a squishy scent like this before. Um, but I love the Haribo frogs 
Um, they're like white on the bottom and then they're like green gummy frogs. And that is literally what that smells like to me. Um, let's see who else do we have in here. Oh, there's another one of those Cafe de in Cafe de in Dreamy Pastel Macaroons. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at this tiny cheeseburger keychain. I'm loving this. Look, it's like a double patty. Oh my gosh. Super realistic, right? Let's see if we can get the lighting a little bit better. I don't know if I'm making it better or worse. <laughs> but I am loving that. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit squishy. Like the bun is soft and squishy, but the patties on the inside are kind of like more of a plastic, plasticky texture to it. But once again, you guys know, I like that. I like when it's like a different kind of thing going on. You guys, I know I had another like little bear in here that I wanted to talk about. Oh my gosh, here it is. I love this and I've never seen these guys before, but I want to find more of them. It's the bear school. And look at this little king bear keychain. It is so cute to me. So I think it's it's like literally meant to be like a um help me. It's like one of those like retractable. Do you know what I'm talking about? So like you can put your key on the end and then if you like need to like get to it to unlock the door or whatever you can but look at this little bear it's like it's something that I love so much that I want to carry around and use but I also just want to seal it back up in the package because I just love looking at it so much that I'm scared if I carry it around it's gonna get messed up or I'm gonna lose it is anybody else like that like sometimes I do feel like a hundred percent crazy person because it's like I love things so much that they almost like lose their functionality because I want them to stay like perfect and cute forever um but look at him I mean he's not like super squishy he is more of like a traditional like um stress ball texture in my mind but I love him he's just adorable oh my gosh I'm living for it also I have a couple of these guys in here which these look so familiar to me I thought I had a couple maybe I just have one here's another um colorway of the churro the heart churro squishies maybe i just have one in here maybe i've only seen like other colorways on one maybe you guys don't care about stuff like that but um <laughs> it is the mag maggie magic suddenly I can't read um doesn't it look like look I didn't see the c on the packaging so it just looked like it was saying like maggie bear squishy magic bear bakery and this is the mush brand eye bloom and mush actually but oh my gosh oh my gosh is this my favorite squishy of the day you guys this is one of those squishies where to me it's like so soft it really feels like you're just holding nothing it's like you're holding a cloud and look at how slow rising it is like how many seconds have i been talking and it's still not 100 percent all puffed out again yet oh my gosh okay this one takes squishy of the day in my opinion and it has that really like lovely like traditional squishy scent that same like bread type smell i've been talking about but oh my gosh you guys you can almost like squish the ears and stuff like completely flat i am loving this one i may have to get more of these if there are um different colorways i'm like literally just hiding behind the the uh squishy like a vampire because i feel like it just doesn't want to focus um up next we have a lot of these super cute sanrio squishies and they're all hello kitty donuts i think they all have music notes on them so here's like a blue and purple blue and pink colorway is what i meant to say and then we have like pink and white i think i have a couple more in here you guys still so many squishies down here oh my gosh um ooh, we have like a blue and pink wait is that the same one again i feel like it was like different 
but the same but different and now i literally just dropped it and i locked it, it like slid away somewhere in the squishy mountain i've made below me um yeah wait is this the same one <gasps> look duplicate i need to do a giveaway you guys uh let's open this one Sanrio has been doing a lot of squishies lately. I need to show you guys this one that I got. I actually got it from Sanrio. They sent it to me, but it was a Hello Kitty squishy, and it looks like a Hello Kitty shaped pizza. I was loving that one. Uh, this one is so cute too. And I know I've recommended this show to you guys before. It's on Netflix, and it's called The Toys That Made Us, and it's all about like super popular um, old school toys like G.I. Joe, Barbie, Transformers, but they just released season two not long ago and there was an episode all about Hello Kitty and Sanrio and it was so much fun to watch. So you guys should watch that. Look, we have another tank. This one's like baby tank. What's going on here? I don't understand, but I also like it. Um, we have a couple of these super cute, oh look, there's another Hello Kitty one. Uh, that one's kind of like a pink on pink. Um, we have koalas in here. I felt like we had more than one. Oh, look, another bear. One of those popsicle squishies that we saw in the very beginning. Look at that. And we had koalas. That's what I was talking about. I thought I had more than one colorway. Look, I'm still finding more Hello Kitty music pastry cupcake donut that's the word i'm looking for um the eye bloom koala i felt like i've seen a pink one. Oh, here it is right here i knew i saw a pink one i think it's supposed to be like a little set they go together um because i think they have different names between the blue one and the pink one and look at his little face i almost want to say i had or still have a gray colorway of this koala but I think maybe they re-release them with these different colorways and you guys just like our little unicorn friend this one is so soft I am loving this blue one because it smells minty I love mint smelling squishies it's one of my other favorite flavors I feel like the minty ones really keep their scent for a long time I yeah, I kind of feel like maybe this is a stronger smell, but around Christmas time, they had um, polar bears that came out and they smelled super minty as well. And I loved it. Um, okay, you guys. Up next, we have, now these are actually like a Holicopter Creamy Candy collab and they are Crazy Poo Squishies Series 2. I am so happy for her. I feel like we've seen these before though, you guys. I have a couple in here. I feel like I should do a giveaway. Um, oh my gosh, gray koala right there. Look at that. I knew I had more koalas or I had seen more koalas. Um, let me show you a different one. I feel like maybe I have two of these in here. You guys, I freaking love Doraemon and I just was like trying to buy the DVDs for Dogman and I on Amazon and I actually accidentally ordered it only in Japanese. <laughs> like the, the speaking is in Japanese and we were like, oh, well, we can just watch it on subtitles, like no big deal. And I accidentally bought the one that was like Japanese with only Japanese subtitles. So we're like, we don't know what's going on, unfortunately. Um, but look at him. He is so uh, adorable. I feel like he's just such a happy looking little character. So this is those buns that I never know the correct name of, but it does look like a really realistic like food thing. And this one gets so squished when you squish it. That doesn't make any sense. I can't believe I was like, this one gets so squished when you squish it send help I feel like that whole thing was just out of focus you guys I feel like it's because the sun is like really going down now so I'm like almost just filming like in the dark so it doesn't want to focus on anything anymore but this one is pretty soft but also it's like the 
uh, Doraemon on here is a little bit shiny. So I feel like that kind of gives some of the squishy like little different parts of texture. Uh, but I love this one. I feel like this one would make an adorable keychain. I love hanging like um, big food squishies off of like backpack purses. It's like a um, aesthetic of mine. You guys, I know this video is almost 40 minutes. Oh look, here's the other large uh, Boo Boo Bear. And this one has a pacifier. So it's the brother to little snot nose bear we saw earlier. But these are so lush and plush squishies. Love these guys. I almost said love these little guys. They're not little. Um, who do we have left? I feel like I've got to show you guys this one because I keep picking it up. <laughs> and it is a little fox. And I love this like wrapping. Once again, it's like the cake squishy that we opened. So cute. So this is Foxy Fox. And I think, yes, this is an eye bloom. So let's open up the twisted tie here. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. It's like, it was just wrapped with the really cute twisty tie, but it's actually also a resealable bag. Ooh, I feel like I can smell this one from here. No, it's a little bit. It's almost like a candy. I thought I was like smelling it, but I think I'm just smelling like another squishy that I just opened that had a stronger scent. This one's actually like not that scented. I know some of you guys love like really scented squishies and some of you guys are not about it, but I love how this one is rainbow pearlescent. Oh no, my battery is flashing. Fair enough though, because I definitely have been filming for like almost 40 minutes, I think. This one is so cute. Okay, you guys, last thing I'm going to show y'all today, and let's save the rest of them for another day, are all of these cute mini cheeky bananas. Che yeah, cheeky monkey. They smell like bananas, I think. Um, but they are baby cheekini, I think is what they're called. And they all have different faces. Oh my gosh, this one's crying. I don't know if I can handle that because I'm a baby. Um, I think those are all the designs that I have. So let's open this one because he looks really sassy and of course has a cute little keychain. Yeah, these are like super banana, banana scented and I love it. It's like banana candy. Oh my gosh, this one would be a wonderful one to carry around with me in my purse too. Look at how slow rising that is. Really impressive for these tiny ones in my mind when they are like pretty slow rising. Love it. Okay, I know I said it was gonna be the last thing, but look at these cute cotton candy um, panda bears. Are they pandas? They almost kind of look, yeah. Um, cotton candy panda is literally what they're called. These are eye bloom. And, ooh, this one is so cute. I want to say it has a light grape scent, but it's not overall like too smelly. Is that a weird thing to say? Smelly. Um, but look at him. Slow rising. So cute. I love that the ears like just puff back up. Adorable. Okay, one last thing I'm going to show you guys. I know I keep saying one last thing, uh, but we have little tiny baby pat pats. So look at this like galaxy one and then... Um, just this plain white one. And I know that we had jumbo sheet not long ago, like jumbo pat pat sheet. Oh, why did I just rip the packaging? Now I've got to carry this one because I'm like, what am I thinking? Um, whoa, super soft. Once again, I love this like galaxy look to him. So cute. Look at that. Okay, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I'm tempted to do another squishy haul, but I'll probably do something different in the next couple of days. But I love you guys so much, and I hope to see y'all again really soon. Bye!